going to start by defining a new type. The type is going to be based on the rest endpoint that returns a single record of department. So this is this get method. And we're going to pick up the columns we want to show in the table, which are the ID and the department. Now we're going to add a new field. Um, this is going to be a Boolean field that indicates if the row is selected or not. So just another Boolean field in our type. And now we can define a new array data type variable. So we'll call it the ADP that is based on this type. So it's an array data provider. And then we set the type to the type we just defined. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to have an event in our page when we enter the page. And in this event, we're going to define a new action chain. And in this action chain, we're going to fetch all the departments. So let's call this one the fetch action chain, click on it, and then use the call rest operation to use the get all department rest call. And then use an assign variable to assign the results from this rest into our ADP. So over here, you can see the ADP we defined in the structure of the information. You can see all the fields we need. And then we just map the items returned from the rest call to our data object over here. So this action will be invoked when we run the page, populate our ADP. And therefore, we can now take and place a table on our page go to the data area and hook the table to be based on our ADP and select the fields that we want to show in the order that we want to show them. Okay. Um, and then we might need to just refresh the page here to show the data. There you go. All right, so now we need to show a checkbox for the selection here. To do that, we're going to use our component exchange over here, where you can see all the components. We're going to use the Boolean checkbox component, and we're going to install it into our environment. By the way, if you click on it, you can see more information about this component and how to use it. Once you install the component, it would be right here at the end of your component list, and you can then drag and drop it into the column uh, for the selected records, and we're going to hook it up to this uh, row selected variable. Okay, so now when we check it, it would update this row. Let's run our application just to see how it behaves right now. We can see the list of departments and we can choose departments. All right, so now we chose department. How do we actually process it? We can add a button to our page. Let's put it up here. And um, this button will process our rows. Okay, so we have a button. We'll define an event on it. And in the event, in the action chain, we're going to use a for operation. Okay, and the for is going to run on our array. So let's map this to the array of data in our ADP. So it's going to run over all the rows. And then over here, we're going to use another operation, which is an if operation. And we want to check if the row was selected or not. So to do that, we're going to access the rows selected a variable value. Now, notice the zero here. We don't want zero here. What we want is the dollar current index, which basically indicates the current row that we're on in our loop. And now we can do something when it's checked or do another thing when it's not checked. In our case, we're going to just pop up a message. So it's going to be an info message saying selected when we select, uh, when the row is selected. And maybe we'll want to show here which row is selected. So let's pick up the department here. And again, instead of zero, let's use the dollar current index here. And if the row wasn't selected, we're going to pop up a different message. Um, this is going to be, uh, let's say, a warning message. So pop up a message, set it to be warning, and um, again, use the same uh, row data information for the department and just say not selected as the title. And that's it. We are ready to run our application. When the application shows up, we have the list of department. Let's choose. Uh, 
the sales and IT department and then press the button. We run through the loop and we show the messages about the rows that were selected and the rows that weren't selected. And that's basically how you create a checkbox to select specific rows in your application um, in Visual Builder.